Hello everyone! It's time to tell a tale. My name is Juki Devi, but you could just call me Juki. Shh, can you keep a secret? When I was younger, I have always wanted to be a superhero. You know, a superhero. They protect and save the world. They're brave and fast and strong. And they're awfully mighty. You know, that reminds me of a little girl that loves to dress up as a superhero. She was a very shy little girl. But when she put on that outfit, she felt mighty. Wow, that's so exciting. I wonder how mighty I would feel if I dressed up as a superhero. I want to try it. <laughs> I am no longer Juki. I am Super Juki. And I'm only a little bit terrified. Just You know, I do feel pretty mighty. The story I am going to read to you today is called Might E by Jordan J. Scavone. Some people are born to be heroes. They have that special quality, that one thing that lets them know that they are destined to save the world. Some can leap buildings in a single bound. Some are faster than trains. Some can even pick up an elephant right over their head. Piece of cake. I got this. But Emma was not one of those people. In fact, when Emma was born, she was nervous, shy, scared, and would even cry if anyone looked at her. As Emma grew up, she became the shyest girl around. Nothing compared to the heroes she wished to be. Though she yearned to be brave, she just couldn't. Emma's father thought and thought and thought and finally, he came up with a brilliant idea. What a brilliant idea, her father said. On her fourth birthday, Emma's father gave her a gift. Eureka! A big blue box, all tied up with purple ribbon. Emma opened it. And inside was something all true heroes needed. Can you guess what was in the birthday box? I guess we'll have to wait and see. A real superhero cape and mask. Purple, of course. Her favorite. Now, when Emma would feel shy or scared, or nervous. She would simply put on these magical garments and become... Mighty! The bravest, mightiest, and strongest superhero the world has ever seen. However, despite being so mighty, her biggest challenge was right around the corner. Now that she was four, it was time for Emma to start preschool. All her life, she has dreaded that building. Going there would mean constant, daily interaction with kids. Without her dad. Despite secretly being might E, Emma did not want to go to school. When the day came and Emma arrived at the school, she stood in the doorway wanting nothing more than to climb back into her dad's truck. All she had was her purple, of course, backpack, and the hope her daddy would return at the end of the day. Emma was greeted by five children in her class. Jenny was the red-headed girl with yellow bows in her hair. 
Jasper and Felix were twins. The dark-haired boy was Gregory. And finally, there was Bree, a girl with a blonde ponytail on the side of her head. Emma was not feeling mighty. Despite her fears, Emma did kind of, well, just a little bit, like her teacher, Mrs. Madeline. Emma liked her because of her yellow dress with red polka dots. Emma liked that it did look like her purple, of course, dress with blue polka dots. During morning snack, Emma sat quietly, looking at her crackers. During playtime, Emma sat quietly, holding her purple backpack tight. She didn't play with the other kids. She didn't even look at them. Emma felt less and less mighty as the day went on. At nap time, once everyone else was asleep, of course, Emma was able to calm down and finally close her eyes. <sighs> Mrs. Madeline took the time to call Emma's dad. I'm afraid Emma has been very shy today. She has not played with any of the other kids. Emma's dad laughed softly. <laughs> Check her backpack. There's something that will make her feel more comfortable. Emma woke up to find her backpack lying wide open. More fear rushed over her until Mrs. Madeline walked over softly. Emma smiled. And with Mrs. Madeline's help, Emma transformed into... My Bee! And for the rest of the afternoon, the once shy and scared little girl was gone. In her place was the same girl, but now she felt comfortable being bold, brave, fierce, powerful, and most of all, mighty. Might E was in such a good mood playing and protecting. Then something happened. Her cape and mask flew off. They were stepped on and pushed aside. Emma was so busy saving the world and having fun of course, she didn't even realize it. When Emma's dad arrived to find a joyful and playful Emma, he was happy as could be. He scooped her up into his arms. Hello, my Emma, her dad said. Dad, shh. I'm not Emma right now. I'm Might E, Emma spoke with gusto. Oh, you are, are you? Emma's dad turned to face a nearby mirror. Emma was no longer Might E. She was just Emma. But Emma still felt like Might E, despite not wearing her costume. It was then Emma realized the other kids were not that scary. And it didn't take a cape or a mask to be a hero. But when things still got extra tough, Emma could still be my E. The end. Wow, I love being a superhero so much. You get to fight crime. Time to go back. I'll continue to save the world tomorrow. <laughs> Do you like to dress up as superheroes at home? Dressing up as a superhero can be so much fun. But we have learned from this story that you do not have to be a superhero to be brave. I had so much fun being mighty with everyone today. If you enjoyed yourself, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any great stories. If you would like to purchase Might E by Jordan J. Scavone, 
There's a link in my description below where you can purchase Mike E. and all of his other wonderful books. I had so much fun with everyone today. I'll see you next time when it's time to tell a tale. Goodbye, everyone. Wow, you know, I may have lost my mask and my tape. My mask and my cape. Mask and my cape. Mask and cape. Mask and cape. Mask and cape. Sounds like masking tape. Hmm.